welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here. I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button below and hit that little bell next to it. And then every time I post a brand new wig review or wig related video, you will get a notification saying that I have posted something. And at the end of the video, if you like what you see, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Give me a like. Thank you, I appreciate that very much. So today I am wearing a wig that I'm really excited to be bringing you. This is a wig that was sent to me by Leanne at the Beauty Nook. And this is a line that she is carrying. And this is a line called Gem Tress. And this is from their Sin Tress collection. So Gem Tress is owned by hair, sorry, I've got Speaking of hair, I've got a hair there, by Hair Visions International. And these are wigs that were formerly only sold in wig shops, but now they are available through online retailers. So this particular wig is called Daffodil. And the exciting thing for me to be able to bring to you about Daffodil is that Daffodil has a medical cap. So this cap hugs my bald head like a glove. It fits really snugly up against my head. So this wig, there's some stretch. If you had some hair, there's some stretch here in the back. So if you had some hair, I think it would be okay. But if you had really long hair that you were trying to stuff up in there, I don't think this would be the right cap for you unless you have a really small head. The circumference that they give for this cap from Gem Tress is 21.5 inches. And I have a 21 inch head and I did have to cinch it up just a tiny, tiny bit, but it is considered a medical cap. So if you have hair loss from chemo or if you have alopecia like I do and you have total hair loss, or if you are a woman who has just decided I'm done fighting the alopecia and the hair loss problems, I have buzzed my head. This cap is probably gonna fit you really, really well. Now, if you have a larger circumference than the 21.5, I think the stretch in this cap is definitely going to, I got it on my ear, is definitely going to accommodate a little bit larger circumference. I don't know that I would go larger than average, which is 22 inches on this one. I'm just not sure if it would have, it's got the room back here in the back but I'm not sure about the edge. It just feels to me like that might be a little bit tight. Um, maybe 22.5, but I don't think, I don't, I would not say that this is large head friendly. But that being said, they post the circumference of their wigs when they advertise them. So if you look them up online, they post, if you go to the Gem Trust website, just Google Gem Trust wigs, all their wigs will be posted there from the Sintress collection and they post the circumference on there. So you're able to see, and then you can look at the uh, cap construction. This is a fully hand tied cap. So that's another reason why it doesn't have as much stretch. They do have some wefted caps that have mono tops. So there are other options. So, but I just want you to know for this one, I do think it would be a little snug. Like I said, probably 22.5 would be the highest I would go on a circumference for this one. So really, really gorgeous piece. These fibers, like I said, these are called, this is their Sintress line, synthetic gem tress, if you see that little connection there. So synthetic fibers, but they have their own patent on these Sintress fibers. And these fibers are, they are really, really nice. I mean, I just, my fingers are not getting stuck anywhere in these fibers. They feel very much like human hair to me. I just, I'm really impressed with the fibers. They have a little bit of shine to them, but I don't feel like it's so much shine that I need to spray it with dry shampoo. I think it's a very natural sheen to the fibers. So really, really cute. So this is just a cute bob. Like I said, it is a fully hand tied cap. However, it does not have a lace front. It has a double mono top, and I'll show you the inside of the cap in, in a moment. I can really tell from looking at the inside of this cap that this is a medical cap wig. It is made for those with hair loss. It has a couple of features to the cap. Like I said, I'll point that out in a moment, but it's just, it, you know, the cap, like I said, it fits my head so well. I'm so, in, I'm just like, it, it fits great and I can, easily wear this all day long. I, I don't think I would even feel it on my head. It just, it doesn't impinge anywhere. 
It's super comfortable. It feels breathable. It has a lot of hair, but it does not feel like heavy. <laughs> I mean, it's just, and the hair, like I said, is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna do a turn so you can see it all the way around. It is just a bouncy, cute bob. So really, really cute movement with the fiber. So here's the front. And the measurements are 11 to 12 inches all the way around. So it's basically all one length. My right side, really cute. See how it's like flipping here and flipping under, uh, flipping forward, really, really cute movement. Here's the back. My left side, and then back to the front. So super cute. Now, I do wanna show you this front. Like I said, it does not have a lace front, but it does have, pulling this up too high so you can see my wig cap. It has these little baby hairs. So when I first took it out of the package, these little baby hairs were unruly. <laughs> they were going a little crazy. I actually took my little razor comb, and if you ever have to thin a wig, I think this is kind of something you should have in your wig arsenal as a wig wearer, because this thing is just so easy to just choop, 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 take hair out of a wig. I mean, it's just amazing. So took my little razor comb, pulled this hair back, and I sort of cut those little baby hairs just slightly because the ends were just, I thought they were just slightly too long and there were slightly too many of them. And since I did that, they look much more natural. So without having a lace front, those little baby hairs sort of push that hair out. Can you see that? They push it out so that it's not just laying on my face, which is really, really nice. And having those little baby hairs at the forehead, it looks, it makes the wig look very natural, which I really, really appreciate. So like I said, full mono top. So you have the appearance of scalp there for your part. Really, really well done. And I've parted her in the middle, I've parted her on the right. You can throw the part around very, very easily. She's all one length, so she just kind of throws from one side to the other. Ear tabs are really, really nice. I mean, they are just, as soon as I put the cap on, they were flush against my face. They're, they're just great. And they have, the metal is this long, very long piece of metal. And I, I think I, I don't even know if I bent it. I think I gave it just a slight bend in the middle and it just, it, it's not moving. I mean, it's very, very, like I said, these are very well made pieces. Very substantial metal in those ear tabs. They are made to hug the head and they do hug the head, which I really appreciate having no hair, of course. So, so nice ear tabs. The hair sewn along the ear tabs is also done very, very well. There are no funny little fibers sticking out or anything like that. I mean, it just, so if you're gonna pull this back, you know, with a barrette or something, it looks fine. I mean, it's just, Ear tabs are so well done. And then they fit, you know, of course, hug my ear really, really nicely, just like they should. So very, very nice piece. As far as styling, you know, you can do just about anything with her. You can pull her back, you know, and clip her. Um, you could pull back just the front. Now, because she doesn't have a lace front, I would pull her more low to the side and depending on how you feel about those little baby hairs, you know, if you don't like those showing, you can kind of push them back a little bit, but they may pop out. So again, you just need to be aware of that when you pull her back. But I really think she's gorgeous without anything in her. I mean, she is just so pretty. I don't know about a ponytail. Her nape measurement is not very long. I didn't find a nape measurement for her, but I would guess maybe three, four inches back there. So not super long, but she could, I guess, be pulled back in a little, you know, ponytail bun type thing if you wanted to. So let me pop her off so I can show you the cap. And I know I'm going a little long with this, but this is a new line and I wanna cover this cap and cover her really thoroughly for you. So, so like I said, double mono top. So here's a feature that I really love without having any hair. This is a poly strip and what you can use that for for one thing that like is sticking to my forehead when i don't have a wig i wore a wig cap just for the review but um i put her on my head without the wig cap and she just 
how does your, I mean, that thing just, it just sticks to my head and it's not moving. So if you're completely bald, this is a great feature. But you can also use this to put a piece of tape across if you like to adhere your wigs. So like I said, no lace front, but full double mono top. So you can't even see my finger, you know, coming through there. So that really gives a good scalp appearance. So she's got the velvet covered ear tabs. And like I said, huge, I mean, the piece of metal in there goes from here to here. Y'all, that's a big piece of metal. That thing, once you get that in place, it's not moving. So she's got Velcro adjusters back here. She has a velvet, you know, nape, and then she's got another poly strip back here. So again, if you wanted to put a, you know, a piece of tape back there to tape it back here, if you're completely bald, just, you know, because you're comfortable doing that, but this also gives a little bit of grip is what I'm finding on my scalp. So again, huge piece of metal in that ear tab and just well-made cap, fully hand tied. No wefting, there's some, a little bit of clothes wefting here, but this, it's all, that's just the way they sewed the cap. It is just all hand tied, hand tied gorgeousness. Let me tell you, I'm just, I, I just think this is a beautiful piece. So let me get back on here straight. And like I said, so you see how that's, <laughs> now this looks crazy, but when I first put it on before I pull it back, that thing is anchored to my forehead. So I have to really like, I have to maneuver the cap back because that poly strip is just sticking to my skin. So, which I really love. So anyway, so really, really cute piece. Like I said, great movement to her. Medical cap. Um, I think I've covered everything, but just a beautiful piece. And if you'll go online and you'll look at the Gem Trust collection, you'll see there are long wigs, there are medium length wigs like this one, there are shorter wigs, but this bob, I mean, I just, this is making my hair dreams come true, y'all. This is beautiful. I mean, these fibers are so pretty. It's just, it's gorgeous. And that wind, if the wind blows or whatever, no wefting's gonna show. I mean, I just, I love this girl. I think she's beautiful. So this has been Daffodil by Gem Tress. And I wanna thank Leanna the Beauty Nook for sending this to me to review. There will be a link below to her Facebook page where you can watch her live sales and her business telephone number will also be there. And I will also link her business page because if you wanna order from her, you can PM her through Facebook on her business page. Or if you're not a Facebook user, you can call her business phone number. So all that information will be below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. And don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Hi ladies, I'm back. I realized that I forgot to talk about the color uh, for this particular daffodil wig. One thing about these wigs is whenever you call Leanne, she has a color ring and I would give her a description of what you're looking for because they have a very large color palette. Her husband posted the colors the other day on the Facebook page and I could not believe all the color swatches. There were so many available and this particular color is called 8 slash 6. I could not find any specifics on the color but this is not a typical 8 that I'm used to or a typical 6. I would describe this color as more like a 2 or a 4 in other lines. It is a dark brown, not a medium brown, a dark brown that when I first took it out of the box, I was like, oh, that looks like it's black. It's not black, it's definitely brown. You can see the reflection of the brown in the light there. But I would encourage you to, you know, work with Leanne, tell her what you're looking for and let her kind of help you um, with the color palette. When you go to the Gem Trust web website, you're gonna see the color swatches. But you know, it's hard to tell from a little square there. So if you need color advice, just talk to her. There's also gonna be some other reviews coming out with some blondes and some other colors that are in the palette. So just keep on watching for these videos for the Beauty Nook. Uh, they'll be posted on the Facebook page and of course posted on our individual YouTubes. And I will be you know, tagging them all in my social media and stuff. So just wanted to give a quick color description of this 8-6. Very, very pretty. Like I said, I love the fibers, gorgeous color. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.